Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another episode of my update Adventures Let's Play. This is a Let's Play where I've been building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. Except you'll probably notice most of that's usually done in Minecraft, but here I am in real life taking up the screen, and why is that? Well, the reason for this is because I wanted to talk about this, or at least I wanted to unbox, I should say, uh, my brand new console which just arrived today. Because I used to unboxings at the start of the Let's Plays a while ago, and if you get this is a pretty darn important unboxing, because this is where all of my Let's Play will be recorded from now onwards. So yeah, it's an Xbox One S bundle, it's a Microsoft. Uh, Minecraft Xbox One S bundle, which is just fitting, isn't it? And I'm going to be unboxing this and getting into explaining why I actually have this and stuff like that in today's video. Hopefully you'll do enjoy it, like if you like it and all that stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into it and explain why I've wanted one of these for a while as we get into the unboxing procedure, which I think is actually going to be relatively easy um, because it's just a couple of claps here and then, oh yeah, it suddenly comes up. So yeah, the reason I wanted an Xbox One for quite some, uh, Xbox One S for quite some time now is because I travel a lot and I want to be able to record videos on the go. And obviously, uh, you know, slim consoles usually don't do too much, but this generation, the Xbox One S is a 40% reduction in size from the previous one and plus you know it's got that kind of cool new look too can you see it so I figured you know I kind of want one for those reasons and you know it's kind of important because I make a lot of my videos there and yeah fortunately just before I was going out like I was liberating which one to get fortunately uh, the Microsoft London office were very very kind and sent me an email saying hey we've got some in the office do you want us to send you one of the Minecraft Xbox One editions and I said yeah of course we do so yeah uh, by the way this video isn't sponsored or anything it was just a really nice gesture on their behalf which I thought was pretty darn awesome so yeah uh, this is a box we've got right here it's it's like a torch, but it's like a chunk size. I, I quite like that personally. I don't know what's inside here, but you know, let's let's come back to this later. And then also inside the box, we've got ourselves what I assume is a copy of some game, but no, no, it's it's something else. Oh no, it is a copy of a game, <laughs> but it's another little Minecrafty thing. I love how the packaging for this, because this is a uh, this is one of the cheaper bundles actually. It I love how the packaging is still Minecraft themed, and even inside the box, I'm not even showing you very well, but inside the box you can see where the console is. Um, you know, it's it's all like lit like the Minecraft sky and stuff. Really, really awesome stuff with you. So yeah, here we've got the actual console itself, and just to kind of put this in size perspective for something, here's like my chest, and as you can see, the console takes up a relatively small amount of it. I don't know, like, here's a controller, and here, okay, wait, this is going to be tricky to do at the same time, and I'm going to break something, but here's the controller, here's the console, as you can see, massive kind of size decrease, so I'm really pumped about that, uh, because this is also about an external power adapter, so I can be like, yeah, uh, none of that stuff to do with, uh, but yeah, this was actually, uh, like I said, this was sent to me by the Microsoft uh, London office, and I'm really, really appreciative of that, because they're nice guys that just send me, you know, a nice code for something every now and then, and then apparently I get one of these two, so... Oh, it's so cold on the inside of it. But yeah, this is the Xbox One, uh, the, the proper unboxing. I guess this is like an unbagging now. Uh, this is the unbagging procedure. And here's what the console itself actually looks at, uh, uh, looks like. Uh, uh, as you can see, it's a really, really, I guess, cool thing. It's obviously uh, just the... It's kind of like a slim version, like what other consoles do. But this one actually adds some functionality. I think it has 4K, uh, you know, Blu-ray streaming and HDR. Stuff I really want to play around with when I get to the new house. And uh, yeah, I'm really pumped that we got the consoles to do this. So I'm going to go set this up now. And uh, as of the video after this one, this will be where all my videos are recorded from now on. And I'm pumped to use it and stuff. So yeah. Thank you very much to Microsoft uh, London for sending it. Again, not a sponsored video, just they were nice to me, and I want to, like, say thank you and stuff. And uh, let, should we get into the Let's Play now? I think we should. Oh, wait, 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 we didn't... <laughs> I got I got so excited by the concert itself, I forgot what is in here. So we got Minecraft... Oh, wait, wait. So in, in, in the in the coal chunk, with it's got some diamonds on the other side, too. So, you know, just in case you're like, Toy Cat, you missed diamonds. You are correct this time I'm... How am I meant to... Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I did, in fact, miss diamonds this time. So I've got a Minecraft Windows 10 beta... Uh, full version game, I believe. Uh, I actually really need this because my original Windows 10 key went missing. Uh, I've got the Minecraft Xbox Edition favorites pack here. And you know what? Just in case you've been watching this so far and you clearly like the Let's Play, first person to claim that code right there. Can you see it? Uh, first person to claim that gets a Minecraft Xbox One favorite pack. And then I've got a full edition of the Minecraft Xbox One game right here uh, just for free. Oh, oh, I got two codes. Oh, and an Xbox One, li uh, an Xbox Live trial, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I've got, I've got the Builders pack. Which, uh, oh, that's fair, that's, wait, the Xbox One Builders Pack? What was this then? Oh no, this is the, the game including the favorites pack. I guess I just gave away to Minecraft Xbox One. And, uh, this is the Builders Pack. Which, I, I get, they're pretty cool things in general right there. So, yeah, that is, um, what you now, I, I, I guess the things that are now out there in the wild. As well as that, we've got one other little box right here. I, I got... I, I'm, I guess this must be the controller, right? Because you need a controller to play games. But I'm, I'm still curious anyway. What, do you want to make your prediction right now as I open the back? We've got ourselves a cable, as a controller might need. Wait, this is for the... No, this is a HDMI cable. I'm an idiot. <laughs> then we've got a controller. As you can see, it's in a little bag. And then we've got... I assume this is the power lead. So yeah, 
As opposed to like most other consoles and the Xbox One original, which I'm not a big fan, uh, not a big fan of the way it does its power. Um, you can see this is just straight into the console, straight into the wall, done. Like this is all I need to take with me to travel from now on, and I'm super pumped about that. So yeah, that's everything. Oh wait, should we, should we unbag this too? Because I I really want to use this new controller. Because even though obviously it's, I think it's just a slightly better looking one. There's no actual differences. Still, look at that. Is, isn't that nice? So yeah, pump. Oh, it's got a nice. Okay. If you buy one of these uh, things and you're curious about this, it's got a slightly nicer feel on the back, like more grip. So isn't that nice? But with that said, yeah, that is my Xbox One S unboxing. Maybe you liked my unboxing. Maybe you thought you're not so cat. Why has the console been in your lap the whole time? It should be center stage, but I, I don't even know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get into the Let's Play, shall we? So yeah, that was the uh, unboxing of my brand new console. Super pumped about that because uh, I'm actually going to Canada in like a couple of weeks and you know, being able to actually take it with me and still have space for lots of other stuff. Cause uh, you know, I've tried, I've tried bringing like all my consoles with me at some point and it's always like gone through the process of like getting stopped and then I have to pack everything around. It, it, it basically, yeah, br bringing consoles has been tricky and I'm hoping this is gonna be a solution to that. But yeah, today uh, what we're doing in the actual Let's Play itself minus the console unboxing, which uh, again, I, I, I think that's a cool little addition. Let me know what you think because so many people still say, like, they miss the unboxings. Like, well, I don't really have boxes to unbox. But, uh, you know, maybe I should just do it for, you know, random stuff that happens every now and then. But, yeah, uh, in this particular episode of the Let's Play, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on... Uh, I guess I wanted to finish a project, which I just... I look at every now and then, I'm like, oh, that's so much effort. But, really, it's not. Because it's a pretty small project, pretty much in the center. In fact, I would be willing to bet I built this at zero zero because, you know, that's what I like to do. Basically, I have this giant beacon just over here. Oh, it's not giant. But I have this beacon just over here. Wait, is this actually at zero zero? Because that'd be pretty beautiful. Wait, wait, is it? Is it, is it exactly there? Yeah, it's at zero zero. Okay, so go go past Toy Cat. Clearly knows his design choices. So exactly at zero zero, the center of my world, uh, I have this beacon, and as you can see, I kind of built uh, this cool little thing around it, but then never really finished the building. And it's because I had this grand vision of like, oh, it'll look like an oracle thing. But I figured rather than doing that, why don't we just finish it in a way that looks finished rather than looks like this weird thing? Because again, right, I, I clearly don't have the original plan anymore. Why not make a new one? So that's what I'm doing today. I have a bunch of I didn't even realize, but in this chest over here, I believe there's a bunch. Of, yeah, there's a bunch of never courts I saw when I looked in there. I have a bunch of, uh, you know, stone and we'll do a really, really simple fix that will just make this place look ten times better because, yeah, this is going to be like my center kind of like temple to show that you are a exactly equal distance from each sort of corner of the world, which I think is a kind of a cool, cool thing. Also, because there's a beacon, it'll mean that everywhere around the center within a decent distance will have speed or yeah, it's speed or regeneration or whatever. And because it's all the way down at bedrock, so pro tip, when you're making beacons, you should put them all the way down there because then any any layer in the world at all, you know, up to 255 down to wherever the beacon's placed, will be able to have those effects too, which is just a cool little thing if you ask me. So yeah, let's work on the actual build around it, shall we? And let's do that now. So uh, I'm, I'm still sad that I can't have endstone brick, by the way. Every time I go past this, I'm like, that's such a nice block, but I just I just, I just just can't have it. Wait, we did that wrong. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, make ourselves some stone bricks and let's just play around a little bit. So yeah, yeah, the, the basic vision I, I came up with when I look at this again is just like, well, we don't know exactly what to do there. Why not just do a really simple, like, these four pillars, which I've clearly set up for something. Why don't we just make these converge in the center? So, like, we'll go up a few blocks like that. Maybe that's too many. But then we'll just, like, kind of slowly curve inwards like this. So, um, just like that. Is this at the center? Yeah, it is. So now we remove these blocks here. And we can remove more if we need to. And if, let's let's say we do that like four times. Doesn't that just look better than what we had before? At least I think it does. And uh, maybe we need to remove those underneath blocks. But still, you can kind of see the concept. Or maybe we should make upside down stairs because everyone loves those, right? Or maybe we should just remove this block here. Again, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But uh, let's let's just try another one. Because again, even something as simple as this, like uh, again, this isn't like master building 101, but. You guys aren't subscribed to the channel for that. At least you shouldn't be. If you are, then <laughs> you're, you're probably going to go quite some time before you find your Master Building 101 tips. But yeah, basically, as you can see, we connect them up like that. And it should just start to make this cool little thing where it's like tendrils almost wrapping around the beacon. Because, I don't know, something, something, beacon power. I know there's, there's just something really special about this place. Because it's at zero, zero. Uh, if you don't know, zero, zero. I mean, obviously, like, it's not actually special anyway. But to me, at least, I feel like zero, zero is always a special place. Especially when you have a world that gets larger and larger. Because, you know, the only other significant coordinates are at the edges. Which are always going to be some far away and they're always kind of broken. Whereas this is just, this is the symbolization of, like, there is nothing but building in every direction. Which is beautiful in a way, you know? That's that's what Minecraft's all about. So, uh, yeah, that's that right there. Let's uh, remove a couple of blocks. And uh, let's give this a look. So, now I think we just need to connect these up by, like, a single block around there, maybe? Yeah, I actually, I kind of like that. I think it's a tiny bit rough around the edges. But now you look at this place and you're like, oh yeah. That does look like a, a little bit of an oracle-y temple. Uh, maybe we need to, like, 
have some more blocks around it. So, like, you know, actually, yeah, okay, what we'll do, because we're, okay, it's telling night time. Do I have a bed nearby? I do not believe I do. Okay, so we're going to have to go to, like, one of the houses, which is awkward. How about I make a bed with... No, I can't make a bed because I don't have string. But yeah, what, uh, so let's just keep uh, doing as much work as we can tonight because we have some never quartz in this chest. So let's turn that into the quartz quartz and uh, let's let's do some other stuff around here and just kind of link it up maybe. So first of all, we'll make some never quartz slabs because I need those anyway. Let's make like that many and we'll make some stairs too because why not? Just just to see what we can do with them. So yeah, first thing we'll do is um, I didn't actually ever finish this because I ran out of slabs and you know quartz, quartz is a tricky thing to get except if you need to farm XP which it conveniently while I was working the shoot cane so much again like over a year ago now I would just always have to mine quartz and reset the never so I just have so much quartz lying around like maybe a chest full or something and it means that yeah I can share stuff and make stuff like this. But yeah, now we've got the outside evened out. Let's work on the inside a bit. So why not like these little things here, why don't we just place an extra block to make them link up that little bit, oh, and also the first block here, to make them link up just that little bit better, and then maybe even a, another block around here? Or we could even have, like, reverse stairs or something. Again, there's, there's a bunch of ideas we, we could use around here, so that was actually wrongly done. So all the way up to the very edge, and as you can see, it looks that tiny bit nicer, and then maybe even, wait, if we remove these bottom blocks and, remove, and replace them with, uh, okay, so let's remove them in general and see what this looks like. We could do something where it's, like, this is almost climbing up the wall, or does that not make any sense at all? I don't think that makes too much sense, actually. We, we Okay, wait, wait. We'll, repl we'll replace this with the original block it was meant to be. But I think these blocks here actually might be better uh, with the half slabs, so I'll just remove these ones alone. And, oh no, I fell down. <laughs> well, there's no actual way out, so I guess I'm stuck here forever. Although, actually, are, are all of these blocks necessary? Like, if I... Okay, they are necessary. But still, we, we now know that, which is almost more important than... Uh, making a mistake, and then we put the box blocks back, and everything's perfect. So, yeah, actually, another thing I think I should uh, replace is these blocks there. They look kind of ugly when they're stone bricks, so that's another problem. But yeah, for now, let's just um, let's remove these blocks, replace them with stone slabs, maybe even uh, with the stairs, because again, that could make sense. But you know, actually, yeah, it's meant to be like going it, facing in towards the center, and then just like that, as you can see, the the courts and the stone bricks come together in a way that I kind of like. So yeah, this was a relatively simple project, but it's one I've been putting off for the longest time, and now it's done. So maybe that's a lesson for like life like if you put stuff off it just becomes this giant monster over your head and if you just do it at some point then even if you don't do it perfectly you can always improve on something that you have in the world whereas if you just if you have like this annoying bear monster in your head that you don't want to uh, go near then that's not something you can really improve on so now we light it up a bit i think actually we should use some glow no uh, sea lanterns sea lanterns so yeah, I think I'll get some sea lanterns at some point work this on a little bit more but for now at least when you go past or when i go past it I'm not going to be thinking, this is just the giant mess that I haven't worked on. I'm going to be thinking, oh, isn't that lovely? So yeah, for now, pretty darn good job. Let's move on to the next thing. So yeah, the, the beds, I, I want to say there's one in that village, but I think I've made that mistake before. So I'm going to go back to one of my houses. and Actually, yeah, let's, let's go back to my um, my cave house, uh, as I guess I'll call it from now on. Which <laughs> some at, at this point, like the number of people who get upset about the cave house and the fact that I, I, I live in a cave after, what, four years and thousands of hours... Uh, it, it seems to increase every single episode, which is almost uh, beautiful in its own way. But yeah, basically, uh, I am going to go back there and I'm going to I'm going to enjoy doing that sort of stuff. But yeah, like I was uh, saying, so in, in the same way, there are, there are certain things that just become these giant like monsters if you don't do them. There are certain things that like I feel like are just best put off forever because every now and then there's a the sort of thing that people will just tell you, expecting you to think, ah, I'll get that out of the way right now, but that you can kind of just snooze forever and ever and ever. Like an example being like. Um, I know a lot of places say, like, you have to book now to get this particular thing or that particular thing. And basically, that's just trying to use the fact that, oh, no, if you don't do it now, it's going to uh, get you later. When in reality, it's kind of mostly fine. And another thing um, that is like that is uh, detentions, as it turned out. I've, I've told this story in uh, a lot of times before, but apparently, uh, at, at my school at least, the, um, the, the system for the detentions was, like, kind of broken, so... Why can't I leave here? Um, but yeah, the system was uh, like kind of broken, so if you just didn't go to like the last tier of detention, it would just vanish from the system. I, I used that a lot. I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I, I, every time I give something that I'm like, ah, oh, that's like a meaningful lesson. I like to be like, you know what? But also the opposite is a meaningful lesson too. Because that's the thing about life. Like uh, you, the, the phrase, um, the rule, no, yeah, the exception that proves the rule or the rule that proves the exception. Yeah, it's the exception that proves the rule, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so that's, that's a phrase people use a lot. And I didn't really understand it for the longest time. Like, oh, by proving something wrong, we prove it right. How very intelligent of people. But yeah, the truth is it actually does have like quite a bit of basis in like, you know, I, I'd say reality, but like, you know, there is some truth to it. Like most things that people say. Um, because um, yeah, pretty much everything that you can say kind of works the opposite way too. And let's, 
let's uh, kind of prove that with some weird things. Like, um, if if you t if you take any piece of information, so um, I, let, let's make it console related. So uh, you can look at the fact that uh, 4J right now they haven't really said anything except for the whole uh, Halloween thing, which is still coming soon. But you can take that to mean like, oh, they're hard at work and therefore something's coming out. Or you can take that to mean, well, they haven't said anything, so clearly nothing's happening. Uh, I know that's that's a really basic example. But, uh, I, I tried to make it console relevant, but I know that let's think of it this way. So um, there's a lot of things in life where people think that they're really weird for doing something that's actually really normal. And there's lots of situations in life where people think they're really normal for doing something that's really weird. So I know an example of that is like, in my head at least, I think that the way most people brush their teeth is by getting like really aggressive at it and like, you know, like, I, I guess like really violently brushing their teeth. I don't know how to really describe it beyond that. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure most people in reality like probably use electric toothbrush at this point. But if you don't use an electric toothbrush, then you probably still like, um, you know, you just, you gently, uh, you know, do the teeth thing because that's important to you. For me, it's like uh, almost an aggression exercise at my teeth. Yeah, the, re the reason I bring that up is because sometimes it goes the other way. There's a lot of, um, I, I read this really interesting, like, um, study on something that I probably should have mentioned it, but I read a really interesting, like, study, and uh, I was, it was into, like, lots of things that people assume are just crazy, crazy, uh, rare, that actually, like, you know, even the stuff that you assume, like, no one does, or, like, that one really creepy man does, it's actually, like, 5% of people, uh, you know, do X or do Y and stuff, and, uh, yeah, I was trying to think about this myself, like, are there any things that I think are weird? that, uh, you know, probably aren't, like, actually too weird because, um, you know, it's just something to do with the context that makes it weird. So, uh, you know, like, an example of that would be, like, I don't know, I, 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 the way, um, I, uh, so, yeah, something I think is weird but actually probably isn't. Uh, so something like, um, I don't know, actually, I mean, may, maybe the, the, the teeth brushing me example. I, I'd love to actually read in the comments down below, okay, are you violent or are you actually, like, you know, rather, I want to say caressing, like, are you, are you rather sensitive and caring when it comes to brushing your teeth? So we can find out on that one. But yeah, the, the, the only ones I can really think of are like where you try to get like really embarrassing about yourself by using some, yeah, something, something that's embarrassing, I should say, uh, because then you can be like, oh, it's embarrassing and therefore it must be weird. Because if you do anything that's weird, even if like other people do it, like, um, I know, if you sneeze, like everyone's going to look at you, not because it's weird, although to some extent it is, but because like, oh, that's that's like a loud noise that attracts everyone. And there's a, there's a few uh, situations like that where, yeah, if, if you do something a little out there, then people are going to... I guess, see it in a particular way. Uh, but yeah, that w also when it comes to stuff that, like, no one really ever talks about, so you don't know if people do. So, like, let, let me think, uh, again, I I'm, I'm trying to, like, think of a really personal embarrassing, like, aha, you got me there. Um, so, like, I don't know. Uh, uh, my my preference in, in, in the opposite sex's hair color is, like, generally, blonde, uh, like, you know, yellow, red, and orange, right? And that's colors of, like, a fire. Isn't that weird? Does that mean I'm secretly into fire? I mean, probably not, but it, that, that sounds like it's a really niche thing in my head. Like, I'm saying that, and I'm like, I just admitted one of the weirdest things. But then, 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 like, then, like, you think about it a bit more, and you're like, well, I mean, they're actually three of the more common hair colors you find, right? Like, beyond those, you find, like, brown, and that's about it, and, uh, I could be wrong. Maybe, I'm probably missing, like, a really <laughs> key hair color, and therefore, that's basically the equivalent of just saying, like, oh, yeah, I, I, ha I have preference for most things, like, saying that, uh, you know, like, I, I really like breads and meats, like, that's, that's not a controversial statement to make, and maybe that's not the same there, but when you, yeah, like, okay, let's, let's make this again, like, I, I really don't, oh, yeah, I really don't like, um, Hawaiian pizza, right, so, pizza with, with pineapple and, um, yeah, ham, ham and pineapple, uh, I, and, you know, when, when I say that, I'm like, oh, that's, that's my weird thing that makes everyone hate me, because <laughs> every time I bring it up, people are just like, oh, you don't like that, I'm or whatever the joke actually is, but, um, you know, you, you bring up something kind of, in some, uh, that see, no one really ever talks about how much they do or don't like Hawaiian pizza, or I guess people don't really talk about how much they don't like it, people always just mention how they do, because it's not a very good conversation topic to talk about that way, it's same things do with, like, the, the fire hair, I guess, like, it, it's something that you never really, um, if, if there's something you don't really ever talk about, it, it becomes one of those things where, uh, you just assume that no one else is that case, but, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of things that you might think are weird that are actually really common, that's the kind of key point I was trying to raise here, it's like a teachable lesson almost, that if there's something right now that you think is really weird, even if it's, like, crazy, crazy, crazy out there weird and you're, like, you're so sure you're the craziest person in the world, um, then there's a chance that, uh, it's actually just something where, um, it, 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 there's a chance that it's actually, like, at least slightly common. Because, you know, something that 4% of the population, so 1 in 25 people, so, you know, picture, like, uh, either, like, a classroom or, like, 
I don't know, a tube carriage full of people. Actually, yeah, yeah. Like an underground, like, subway carriage full of people. Uh, one of those people is the exact same as you. Or, actually, you're the person. But in every other carriage, one of those people is the same as you. Or every other classroom in your school. And, uh, I don't know, there's something, there's something liberating to me about the statistics of, like, weird stuff with humans. Like, um... Even like the the crazy out there stuff where it's like 0.01% of the population, or even okay, you know, you know, this this is a really popular one. People say like you're one in a million or something like that, but that actually means that there's seven thousand people like you on Earth, which actually quite a lot. Like um, you know, I you, you can't obviously seven million people is a lot, but still to be one in a million, which is clearly enough to be a very strong compliment. Still means one in seven thousand people, and pretty much every attribute you can think about yourself right now is probably less, or wait, yeah, probably less than one in a million. Like, uh, you're pro there's there's ve there's very few things about you that make you one in a million, and in some ways that's like deeply liberating, right? Like, ah, well, no matter what I think of, it's not weird. But in the other ways, it's like, ah, well, maybe I'm not too unique. But yeah, that's that's there's something. That you might. I, I, I guess the if if you want to believe that you're really weird or unique in some way, then you've got to like combine weird stuff together. Like you'll be like, well, I like um, only like green hair. Uh, only only ride the subway on Thursdays. Only um, t uh, only br I brush my teeth aggressively, but um, to so aggressively that it bleeds and everything you know goes badly. Uh, you know, if you if you add enough weird things together, you can probably be the only person on Earth. But I think if you add any one attribute of anyone, then it's not entirely unique. And hopefully that's like a ramble that has some uh, impact on someone, and I'm not sure. Uh, everyone's not just like, sorry, cat, are you making sense right now? Are you just high on the Xbox One that you just got? Oh, the Xbox One S you just got. And uh, I, I assure you, that's not the situation. But yeah, um, I the, the reason that actually, actually all came out is because I was watching uh, Black Mirror, which, by the way, really cool TV show. It's by Charlie Brooker. Good stuff. I, I'd recommend it if you uh, if you if you like if you have Netflix because it's now a Netflix show instead of Channel Four in the UK. Which means, oh by the way, because it's on Netflix, that means it's uh, worldwide, of course, because Netflix is a uh, you know it, it's not a UK based uh, company. Which means that if you haven't watched Black Mirror at all yet, give it an episode. Uh, try. It. I I think the th don't watch the first episode because it's like incredibly adult unless you want something incredibly adult in which case boom first episode but yeah point i'm trying to make with this is um, i was watching that and this is episode where like uh you know hackers get into people's computers and uh you know they try to leak stuff about you because you know everyone does something that they perceive to be super weird and in the episode it turns out the things they do are all super weird but <laughs> it's it's still even then even the stuff that is crazy weird and that no one wants leaked you look up the the percentage of it and that's where it came to when i got to the four percent figure that's like whoa even even uh, just because people don't know about it doesn't mean it's not there. And uh, yeah, maybe that, maybe again, maybe it's liberating. Maybe you just think, oh, well, everyone's weird, isn't that great? Uh, I I don't know what you think about that, but maybe uh, there's some teachable lesson here. But I hope you did all enjoy uh, this episode of the of the video thing. I'm gonna run back through the Enchanted Valley, and uh, yeah, in case you're curious as to what I've been doing between episodes so much, because I've been, I, I you might have seen, I don't, I don't know if you follow me on Xbox One. Apparently, a lot of people do. No idea how or why, but yeah, apparently um, a lot of people do that, and uh, you might have seen me been playing on this world a lot, because I'm almost finished on the Shukin farm. Like, I know I've been in that state for so long, but now there's, like, literally that much left to do, like, these last two pillars. Uh, then I have to, like, finish off a few more of these things that are down here, but then I think it's entirely done, and we can launch the water off, hopefully by next week's episode, which would be fun, because I, I also had another idea which I wanted to start, which is, like, a, a, a lot of giant objects in the land, which... It'd been better to show you while I was over there. So let's actually, let's try and climb this mountain and uh, then I can show you the giant boat and kind of show you the idea I had because I think it'd be kind of cool because every time I look at the uh, the giant boat, so row on the way there, I'll just kind of clarify. Yes, Black Mirror, good TV show on Netflix by Charlie Brooker. Um, I I don't actually know if it's like a, a crazy adult show or not. I, I've clarified every now and then because even though I, I, I've never made uh, my videos of any like particular audience intention that's never been the case at all um it is something that i realized that oh every now and then there is someone who's like relatively young you know like in the the even like pre pre teenagers and it's like gotta gotta make sure that you know i'm not recommending there you watch something which involves uh, a dead pig in a actually i think it might be a live pig but yeah you gotta, gotta recommend they don't watch uh something involving that because yeah that's something important but yeah uh black mirror or i was gonna say dead mirror available on netflix really good show uh, really enjoying like binge watching it. Like, as, since since I've been doing YouTube, which a lot of people I guess don't really know is like a a very uh, time intensive job. I I love it, so it's fine doing. But like, I don't really have as much time to just be like, well, I'm gonna take off today and watch movies and TV shows. 
but uh, I decided to do that yesterday, so Sunday as of today. Right, yeah, that, that is Sunday. Um, I usually I record that Let's Play episode a bit more advanced than, like, on the day, but why not today? But, because, uh, you know, be, been a bit behind since the whole travelling plus being ill stuff. But yeah, basically, um, this is, like, the windiest train of thought ever, like, you know, going from left to right to left to right to, to forwards to backwards. Um, the, I, I managed to watch uh, three episodes, and I was just like, oh, this is so good. It's like a, It's like dessert. And you gotta like savor it, except I eat it all on the same day. Because that's how I that's how I eat dessert too. Anyway, though, with that said, I hope you did. Well, oh, yeah, no, my idea, my idea. So what I wanted to do is like convert this section of the Let's Play world, like between the the, the zero zero and that village, into like a giant object place. So like everything there is gonna be all massive and stuff. So that was my idea. I might guest on that next episode too. Um, but I'd, li I'd like to hear one whether you brush your teeth violently or not, so I can liberate myself as being not weird, or we can all you know pick on Soy Cat for. For really aggressively doing it. Or, uh, and two, I would like to know uh, whatever I just... Oh, yeah, if you think the, the giant huge idea, idea land, so, like, everything's giant and you look like you're tiny. Because I saw this really cool Minecraft roller coaster doing it, and I figured, I don't necessarily want to do it in that way, but wouldn't it be cool if we could make a miniature version of this Let's Play? Because I haven't actually built any roller coasters. Like, I have a bunch of railways for, like, travel. But at this point, like, why don't we make a roller coaster too? So, yeah, there's an idea I was thinking of. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video because I'm going to see you all in the next one. So goodbye, everyone.